9 divided by 3 gives us 3. And again here we have 3 divided by 3 which gives us 1. So 3 times 1 gives us 3. Or maybe you just see the 3's and you think, hey, these cancel out, leaving just the 9 divided by 3, which also gives us 3. But this answer is not correct, because according to the order of operations, first we have to do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication or division, and finally addition or subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority, and we have to work from left to right, and the same applies to addition and subtraction. In this expression, we have one standard division symbol, one multiplication, and one fraction bar. This fraction bar is the key, because in mathematics, a fraction bar acts exactly like a parentheses, meaning it groups the numbers together, essentially locking them in place until you solve them. Okay, so according to the PEMDAS, first we have to do this fraction, then the division, and finally the multiplication. If we do the division straight across from left to right before handling the grouping of the fraction, it is wrong. So first we handle this fraction. The 3 over 3 acts as a single unit. 3 divided by 3 gives us 1. So now the equation looks different. We have 9 divided by 1 times 3. Now we have one division and one multiplication. According to the PEMDAS, since they are equal priority, we must work from left to right. So here, first, we have to do this division. 9 divided by 1 gives us 9. So 9 times 3. Now we're left with just this simple multiplication. 9 times 3 gives us 27. And this is our final answer to this problem. The correct answer is 27. So, did you fall for the trap of canceling the numbers too early? Or did you spot the hidden grouping? If you want to argue about it, the comment section is open.